Welcome yeah. back. One went over the rainbow, the other was shot out of a cannon. <laughs> and now they're uh, following the yellow brick road all the way to the Emerald City. It's Sophie! about you, Sophie, is you have true glamour. Hey, oh. Dumbo springs to mind. Oh, it just makes you smile. Well, from the hit musical, The Wizard of Oz, we are joined by Russell Grant and Sophie Evers. And welcome, welcome to Thank both you. of you. Thank you. So, Russell, in the West End, are you just loving it? Absolutely loving it. There's a few bits that we just... I never knew we did that on film, did you? No, I went it the first scene at the first time the Can other I day. Can I just say, Boom. working with this girl is a magical experience. Aww. Gifted, talented. We have, a, we have a big scene at the beginning together, yeah. which is difficult. It's a difficult, difficult song, Wonders of the World. But we've kind of made it our own now, haven't we? Yeah, we, we? have. And that's We're a like new Uncle song, isn't it, Wonders of the World? <laughs> yeah, it's a new... Andrew Rotten new song. Yeah. 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 This yeah, is Professor Marvel, isn't it? Yes. So you see that's Professor right. Marvel, who then in, in Oz is the... Uh, the wizard. wizard. And then there's a middle bit, which is the tourist guy, which is all the green, the green stuff. Yeah. Where I do a Charleston and a Samba, <laughs> courtesy of Flavia Cacaccia and Eileen Phillips. Well, yeah. I went to see it. I love it, because it's... It's very true to the film, this, yeah, isn't it? I it mean, is. the, 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 it's, not, it's, uh, it's incredibly clever and very lavish and very beautiful, but it is the film, so it's yeah. not been messed about with. Um, and for you, you see, but you have put a little bit of your Strictly stuff in there and you've been allowed to, to do that. Yes. Um, if it hadn't been for Strictly, would you be doing it? No, of course not. I'd be nowhere near it. I'd be nowhere near the Emerald City. <laughs> I would still be probably in North Wales, doing wonderful things in North Wales yeah. at my local college where I do performing arts teach. Yeah. Um, but to go back to this, I mean, you know, you've got there Wembley, which was one of the high points for, for us. But I go up in a balloon in Oz. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, I, I'm, I'm somewhere in the air. In fact, I'm going to um, try and do cabin crew after Oz because I feel I'm up in the air so yeah. much <laughs> these days. But but, uh, no, of course I right. wouldn't, uh, Phil, I, I, I'm there because of the yeah. BBC, Flavia, Strictly, Moira Ross. And Sophie, for, for you, it must be lovely to finally get your teeth into it and own yeah. it yourself. Yeah, because I was alternate for a year, which was amazing in itself, and I got a lot of experience out of it, but we took about four weeks ago, and now I feel like I'm actually a part of the cast, which yes. is a nice part of it, and I get to do everything, not just once a week, so it's, it's really good. Well, Danielle, we hope, was, was the winner, yeah. and she was there first of all, mm -hmm. and then you say you were the alternate, so how many times did you do it? I did it once a week, every Tuesday, and then I did her holiday, so I had like about five weeks extra, so yeah. I, I didn't do it that often. So you get a bit of a taste, but it's not enough to yeah. really get your teeth yeah. into. Yeah, so I was always like, Tuesday, sit down for seven days. <laughs> yeah. Tuesday, sit down for another. What about the hair? Well, this isn't actually my natural colour, but everyone thinks it is, so, but I was really lucky that they let me have it red, because everyone thought this was my colour, so... I love my red I call hair. it Aliona Copper. Yeah. You know, on Strictly, Aliona <laughs> had that fabulous... Cause, so as soon as I saw you, I went, oh, my gosh, you've got Aliona Red. Yeah. <laughs> and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. your mum's been seeing it so many times. <laughs> yeah, she has. She's. I think she's the biggest supporter of the show. She's been about 22 times. Oh. And she's still coming. I'm thinking she's going to get to about 35. <laughs> <laughs> my mum would be exactly the same. Yeah. And here we can see you now. It's, I mean, it's just such a wonderful show. And it is. to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow, I mean, there must be huge pressure on you, actually, to yeah. get it right every Yeah, day. everyone asks me if I still get nervous for the show, and I say the only part I get really nervous for is Over the Rainbow, because I know it's the jailbreaking song. Yes. And if I mess it up, everyone will go home and say, she didn't sing and Over the sing Rainbow it. very well. You sing it. I, I mean, you're a Welsh girl, ton of pandy, <laughs> and you do come really proud because you sing it like, I mean, I'm just behind waiting to make my entrance Professor Marvel yeah. and I cry most nights because oh. she sings it like it's like crystal clear it's beautiful Thank what's it uh, what's the, the difference between performing for the judges on the telly mm. and the difference between performing for two and a half thousand people at the London Palladium yeah it's a major difference I gotta be honest it was more nerve-wracking walking towards Sheila Hancock John Partridge and Charlotte Church <laughs> waiting for them to rip me apart every Saturday night but doing it to 2,000 people is something else it's yeah. amazing and so uh, having done this, achieved this now, um, and major West End role yeah. in such a beautiful theatre, yeah. and refurbished theatre, it's yeah. all so gorgeous down there now. What do you want to do? What's, what's the next one? Um, 
Well, I just love every aspect of the performing arts world. I love TV, but I think I'd love to get my teeth into a few more West End roles and establish myself as a West End leading lady, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So what about... Like Sorry, would you would you go into any other sort of genre of music? Yeah, I, wow. I love singing, you know, like easy listening pop, indie kind of stuff. So I think perhaps in a few years I'd like to sit down with songwriters and write an album, which would be You've amazing. You've certainly got time, because you were 16 when you were on the yeah, show, weren't you? Yeah, I was 16 so, at the beginning. And so, uh, 17? Just 17. Still world at your feet, really. Yeah, it was amazing. I, I've done a lot. In the, when I think about it, I can't believe how much I've done in, in the year and a half, two years. But it's all been amazing. Changed my life completely. So. Well, and, and Russell, for you, I mean, you've discussed it on here before. Why, why did documentary? Three years ago, you were a much bigger man. <laughs> yes, uh, 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 about you were 12 stone bigger. Considerably less fit. Yes. Um, so the difference between the man you were then and the man you are now, you know, the opportunities, and uh, you, you must look back and think, what the hell happened back there? Oh, I do. I mean, I'm very happy now. We're lucky. I mean, I, I was at the London Palladium 34 years ago with Tommy Steele and Hans Anderson. Yeah. So when I think um, of 34 years ago and that first, that first West End show I did at Cambridge Theatre, Tom Brown and, 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 and Hans Anderson, I walked into the Palladium when I was, uh, I, I finally decided to take the part. Now that sounds arrogant. I had actually turned it down three times for no other reason than Michael Crawford is a hero of mine and a legend. Mm. And when you're asked to take over from Michael <laughs> Crawford, you do have to think twice. He left and you a note, didn't he? He left me a note, he left me flowers, but also Tommy Steele sent me flowers on the first night. You're in that number one dressing room and you think to yourself, uh, you know, I can't do it. But in the end, Andrew was very, very kind, uh, and, and he, he's written new bits, mm. he's written a dance break in there, which Michael never had, and so on. What did the so, note say from Michael? From, from Michael, he said, for, to the new wizard from the old wizard. Oh, yes. And uh, I walked on that Palladium stage that first day, and I thought, I can't believe it. And I actually said a prayer. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, I said. And then I met... Well, it's the, uh, it's the Wizard of Oz, it's at the London Palladium, and it's not to be missed, and thank you both very much indeed. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Pleasure. Uh, coming up, we've got Annie Lennox.